So, with the hook, the weight wants to be back on this back leg, and I want to turn my hips, and this forearm wants to be parallel to the floor. Opposite hand up, again, chin into, into shoulder. It wants to be nice and long, so if I'm, if I'm, if I'm trying to hook in Muay Thai especially, and I'm too close, I can get elbowed. So I want, my hook wants to be nice and long. I want to turn the knuckles over, arm parallel to the floor, shoulder tucked in with your shin, and your opposite hand wants to be up. So you'll see in, in boxing, they usually turn this front leg like this to get more whip with the hips. In kickboxing and Muay Thai, you can't really do that. You can't afford to do that because if you do, you can get caught with that low kick because you're, you're, no, you're never going to rotate around enough time to be able to block. So we need to, again, we need to keep it nice and straight. Boom. Boom. Show you on the back. You can still generate power without this front leg turning. Still got to turn my hips, I turn my shoulders, and keep this parallel here.